Hi everyone, welcome to Flair Bartending 101 with me, Zach Rahaska. And I just want to start this video off with saying I'm sorry. I know I've been MIA for a while, haven't posted in a couple months, and I've just been so busy here in Toronto building our school, and we're finally there, so whenever you're in Toronto, please feel free to swing by and have a flip with me. Now these moves that I'm about to show you work amazingly for you cocktail bartenders, mixologists, or even brand ambassadors. These pours can be learned easily within an hour. Just practice, don't be lazy, be consistent, and you will get it. Don't use the behind the bar unless you're comfortable. But I recommend that you start building confidence with these pours by showing your friends and regulars. Just be honest with them, tell them, hey, I'm learning this new pour, what do you think? Does it look cool, does it not look cool? I'm sure they'll love it. Now before I show you these three pours, please feel free to subscribe to me on the bottom, share and like my videos and tell your friends about it that are into bartending. Don't forget to hit that little bell down there and get notified when I post new content. And if there's something that you want to learn, let me know in the comments. I'm going to try my best to make a video for you guys. I've got a whole bunch of videos coming up and I can't wait to show you them. They're awesome. So let's get ready to start. You'll need a jigger. I like this longer one, the Japanese style. They're better for these when you're learning. You can use these tricks with a smaller one, absolutely, but we're going to start, try to get a that looks just like this, okay? All right, so our first pour looks like this. And all I'm doing here, guys, is I'm grabbing the top of the jigger and I'm gonna pull my pinky finger, my ring finger, and my middle finger towards me. It's gonna cause the jigger to come towards me just like this. I'm gonna let go, it's gonna roll over my thumb, and I'm gonna catch it with my four fingers. I'll show you again. I'm gonna pull towards me, roll it over my thumb, and catch, and once more with my hand out of the way, pulling it over my thumb, pulling it over my thumb. So when I go into my pour, I grab my bottle, I grab the top of the jigger, rolling it over my thumb, and I pour and add that to my mixing glass. And I'll show you again. So we're gonna grab the top of the jigger, we're gonna roll it over our thumb, grabbing our bottle, we're pouring, and adding that to our mixing glass. All right, our second pour looks just like this. Very similar to the first one, but instead of it being a reverse thumb roll over your thumb, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down our thumb like this. We're grabbing the base of the jigger, we're gonna pull it towards us, we're gonna let it roll over our thumb, opening our four fingers, it's gonna do one full rotation and we're gonna catch the top of the jigger. So we're grabbing the bottom, rolling catch, grabbing the bottom, rolling and catch, and when you're comfortable, you've got your bottle, bottom rolling and catching, pouring and adding that to our mixing glass. Now, if you wanna make this move look a little bit cooler, instead of doing a thumb roll towards you like so, try doing it across your body following with the pour. So we're gonna go roll, pour. Show you again, roll, pour. So when you do it quick, you're grabbing your jigger, you're rolling it, you're pouring it, and you're adding that to our mixing glass. Okay, so our third pour looks like this. All right, now what I'm doing here is I'm gonna grab the top of the jigger in a scissors grip. My middle finger is gonna be on the inside of the jigger and my uh, index finger is gonna be on the outside. I'm gonna pull my index finger towards me and I push with my middle finger and it's gonna cause the jigger to rotate. I'm gonna snap it over my index finger and catch it like this. I'll show you without my hand in the way. I'm gonna grab it, pull it towards catch, grabbing it, pulling towards and catching, and now I'm grabbing my bottle, grabbing my jigger, pulling towards and catching, and adding that to my glass. So I'm gonna show you those three pours one more time. We've got our reverse thumb roll, pouring, adding, okay? Our second one is our regular thumb roll, so we're grabbing our jigger right across the body, pouring, and adding that to our mixing glass. And lastly, we have our third jigger pour. It looks just like this. Practice these pours, guys. They won't take long to learn, but once you get them, you'll use it behind the bar, and I promise you, someone will pay attention and call you out on how awesome they look. So enjoy it behind the bar, have fun, and keep flipping.